ain't been switch. broke in a minute. Nah, nah, I tryna run these digits. Nah, nah, Put my little bro on the pin. Nah, nah, we hop out the car with extensions. Nah, nah, these niggas be pistols, they switchin'. Nah, 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 Playin' with bro, then you go in the mission. Nah, nah, Me and my niggas, we all on the mission. Focus on money, ain't worry about bitches. All right, y'all. So we're watching RRQ Hoshi versus Fire Flux, man. Now I just watched Onyx versus Fire Flux, and this team, this team isn't very good, man. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. This team is not very good, but let's see what happens. I mean, I think RRQ definitely has this easily, quite easily has this, I think. But in my opinion, they. They probably have the worst comp right now. They actually have the worst comp right now, in my opinion. Yeah, RRQ. <laughs> RRQ is way too good, bro. They're way too good at fighting. I mean, they, this is actually some good trades, though. Some good trading. Nice pokes. Nice pokes. Okay. CC, all that mobility. Three, three. I like the invades. Man is attacking the tank right now. I don't know what they, what they did. They got a little clash going on there for in the middle. But I mean, then again, neither one of these teams are very good at macro. See, bro, RRQ is like really, really bad at, bro, dude, both RRQ, I think is very bad at macro, at the macro, but the other team ain't that great at it either. I just think RRQ is the stronger team here, but it's like they're better fighters. They're better at aggression. But I don't like their hero picks. It's like the marksman. Skyler's going to probably be what has to carry this game. He's going to be the one doing all the damage, and they don't have that damage. So I feel like even though it's a it's a close game right now, but actually they got carry over there. But still, like I, I would put their carry up against RRQ's Claude any day. Carry, I believe, is the stronger pick by far. But... Player-wise, I think RRQ is just on a different level, to be honest. So I think as soon as Claude gets fed, it's pretty much GG. So the longer this game goes on and the longer Claude can keep farming, the the worse it is for Fire Flux. But I do just believe that RRQ is the better team here. 
I guess we'll see how that goes. We'll see. See if I'm right. Maybe I'm giving RRQ too much props. But I just, I know Skyler's insane. He's an insane player. Hmm. Yep, look at Claude. Claude got a kill. He got an assist, and now he's farming. Gonna push this tower, maybe? Uh, Ruby might stop him. Yeah, I'm watching the Claude now. Claude, I mean, that's really, that's really where it's at, to be honest. He could put his little thing on the tower, his little clone. I mean, that's crazy. Claude destroyed bottom tower. Carry is down. Zero kills. Oh, they, they look like they're trying to gank Claude. That's smart. I mean, they get, if they get Claude out of there, they, they secure themselves to win. They secure themselves to win if they can stop Claude. But I think stopping Claude is going to prove to be a lot more difficult than they may think. But yeah, like the first 10 minutes of this game was like spent farming. Look at this. They're trying to, now they're going to try to take this tower. But they're going to lose top tower. So they're going to lose top tower. They're going to trade it, it looks like. Keeping the towers even, that's not good, though, bro. That's not good. It's like the game is too even right now. It's not really even. Actually, it's in the um, it's in the favor of Fire Flux, but I just don't think. I mean, they they kind of hurting right now. But like I said, I think when Claude get fed, it's pretty much over with. Look at this. He's free pushing top. He might get another tier two. He might get a tier two right here. Yep. Yeah, he secures the tier two. See, okay, okay, hold on. Let's stop it here. Okay, gold lead. What I'm I'm telling you, Claude. Claude got 8,000 gold. Yeah, the game's over. <laughs> the game is over. Like, all they're doing is buying time and prolonging. Like, like it shouldn't have been this close. It shouldn't have been this close when their primary source of damage, Claude, takes forever to get fed and be useful. Carry should be more effective early game. Like, let me see who they got. Yeah, carry should be more effective and be accomplishing more early game. Yeah. Fireflex isn't doing well. Like, look, now they're behind in form. They were, they were ahead in gold. Now they're behind in gold. And they're only going to get even farther behind because Claude is about to start going on a killing spree. I'm already telling you how this going to go. Like,
So I was going to push top lane. Look at him, still farming. What's Carrie doing? Carrie's right here roaming around in circles. And <laughs> Carrie starts pushing the lane when she saw Claw pushing the other side. It's like they got to be reminded to do their job. All this level 14. Everybody on the enemy team, 13. The 13 is the highest. Yeah. <clears throat> They've just been buying time for Claude to get fed, and the enemy team let it happen. Let's see. Who gonna secure this? Okay. Nice. That was a nice retry. Nice retry. They taking Skylar out of the fight. I mean, hey. They still not accomplishing nothing though, but okay. They're doing some nice pokes. The mage over there is not doing um, bad. Nice pokes over there. CC is actually playing well. CC is just annoying. I think that as a team, like, they're not bad players. It's just that as a team, their strategy is flawed. And the way that they approach the game is flawed. they just another team with mechanical skills. But I think RRQ's mechanical skills and kind of their game sense is just better. Claude, 11K, go. That's crazy. I want to see that. Claude, 11K, go. Um, versus Carrie's 9K, gold. No one else is close in the whole game. But they do have... Carry is um, tanky. Then you have um, CC. CC is up there. Kind of annoying and tanky. I mean... We gonna see what happens, but... Yeah, I don't know. It's gonna come down to the players for sure. Which I think that that goes in RRQ's favor. Like their four gold, their four K gold um ahead. Well, three K. Claude just melted him. Uh, taking that red buff.
12.6k cc got 10k now oh benedetta's getting up there 10.1k i'm not a fan of benedetta but even though benedetta is getting the kills right now i don't like benedetta man maybe it's just that i'm that level of trash on benedetta but yeah Uh, let's see. Let's see. Bro, if he secures Lord. Ah, yeah, okay. Fredrin got it. Fredrin got Lord. But they secured the towers, though. They secured bot tower. So that was a good trade. Like, it's insane. So they, like, I don't know. Because when they was going against, um, when RRQ was going against, AP brand they wasn't getting trades like that but now they suddenly know how to you know play the macro a little better that's crazy they traded the turtle for bot tower as they should have okay This game is honestly closer than I thought it would be. Just being honest. I didn't think that this game would be this close. Nor do I think that it should be this close, but yeah. Push top lane, bro. They got to push some lanes. Get some vision. By the time they pushed up to take the lane, the enemies was heading back to that lane. This is why vision is kind of important. You got to have vision. That way you can know what's safe to push, where you can position, all that. See. Mm, let's see what the cash was talking about, man. Let's see. Could be on the winning side here, but Fireflux kind of has them pressed back against the wall. Uh, Fireflux, you know, in past international events, Wolf coined the, the meta for Fireflux. He calls it the <laughs> Turkish delight. You know, you oh, got gosh. the Ube strat coming from uh, Blacklist, and we have the Turkish Delight from Fireflux. And I always like to kind of 
call. Like, it's very layered. The way that they take these fights is very layered sometimes. They're very good at meshing everybody's ultimates together. Now Ailing gonna come in onto a rat. Oh, Apex this time gonna blow his ult a little bit too early, line. but still. Look at the damage. Oh, into the back line, the Petrify. Banana able to find Rosa. Sunshine goes down as well. Bruce go Yeah, I think this is where RRQ wins. So they're split pushing. They just secured all those kills. And yeah, Claw's gonna come wipe clean them up, wipe them out. They should be securing Lord here. That should be a Lord. And if they get this Lord, or are they gonna just end push for the win? They might just push for the win right here. And that's GG's. They just pushed for the win. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. I actually expected more aggressive domination. Like seeing RRQ play against Ani I mean AP Bryn. I expected some more aggressive domination, but nah, they actually played this game slower and won off the split pushing and yeah. It's just a little bit of damage being laid down by Claude. So, I mean, that that was that was actually a surprising outcome. I mean, it was an interesting game, actually. But, yeah, let me know what you all think. And, yeah, catch you on the next one.